Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And oh boy, it's been uh, it's been like two years since I recorded a video over here on the main channel. And you may be wondering, what have you been up to in the last two years? Why you disappeared? All of these questions, and here I am to very quickly answer them. Now, first of all, I went through a very dark time in my life, so to say, about two years ago. And at that moment, I just did not want to play any more RuneScape. So my dumbass decided that it was a good idea to find another addiction in a different game. So instead of playing RuneScape 24-7, I ended up playing New World 24-7. And over the course of the last two years or so, I've built a nice little channel, which was basically my second channel at the time. And I just started uploading New World videos there. And I started streaming New World. And the more you know it, the more I got addicted to this brand new game that wasn't RuneScape. And with me spending all this time playing this new game, I also gathered completely new audience. So the streams were doing really well, the videos were doing all right for the second channel, and I was enjoying my life playing New World. However, at the back of my mind, I always wanted to return back to RuneScape. But at the time I left, it was pretty much when the leagues ended. So my dumbass, again, was just waiting for either leagues or deadman mode to return. And I waited a year. And I waited almost two years and there was no deadman mode, no leagues in sight. And I was like, man, how do I sit behind this computer and record a RuneScape video? So I simply procrastinated and I never did it. However, it is now 21st of August when I'm recording this intro. And uh, deadman mode is starting on 25th of August. And once again, I've been procrastinating so much to the point where I do not know RuneScape very well right now. And I have four days to learn it and figure it all out. So let's see if I can relearn the game and let's experience stuff that we've missed over the last two years. All right, let's uh, let's figure this whole thing out. So we are located on our maxed account. At some point not long ago, I decided to cancel my membership because over the year that I haven't been playing, I was still paying a nice little membership amount over here on this game. Uh, I bought one blighted anglerfish. Beautiful. Okay, so I need a bond, basically. Uh, my bank is about three point something bill. We have some stuff here, okay? We can we can cook something up. We got 3,000 coins, which is not enough for a bond from what I've seen. Uh, but we do have a couple of these, Amethyst Dark Tips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chug these in here. So I guess I was AFKing this a little bit. And we're just gonna afford one bond. Uh, they're currently pretty expensive. Deadman mode, obviously, around the corner. Oh yeah, this is also worth mentioning, right? This account has a World 45 Deadman mode. So I cannot actually play it or I lose my world 45 deadman mode. So let's go ahead and one bond 14 days. There goes my money. And I guess I, I, I'm jumping all over the place and I might be jumping all over the place throughout this video, but that's because I am all over the place and I don't know where to even begin. But one of the last things I did on this account was I did the Curse of the Sands quest, but I've never experienced Tombs of a Mascot. I've never obviously experienced any of the Desert Treasure 2 stuff. And all of these quests here that are red, the Garden of Death, no clue what that is. Land of the Goblins, what even is that? I have no clue. I'm gonna have to do a lot of research. So I'm probably gonna be questing this all up and figuring out what everything is. I had this option on, which always sets placeholders, but when you're free to play, it just gets rid of it somehow. I don't know why I'm showing this, but this is how I would usually chill. I would, I would, hey, this is my fashion scape, all right? That's it. And now I need to figure out how to play the game. I think the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna play an LMS game. It's a little bit out of the blue, right? But this is this is kind of what I do. I, I PvP usually. So let's see if I still got it. Obviously, I'm gonna be rusty as hell. We're gonna do just, just one LMS before we go into other things and see if we still have the clicks. Dude, I remember this. Okay, so I mean, I remember, but I forgot, right? So right now, I, I still have somewhat of clicks. All right, well, oh my God. Goodness. All right, so here's the thing, right? I completely forgot that LMS is now also purifies. Oh my, everything is weird. Okay, but we still got it. This guy doesn't seem to be very good at the game. So we're just little little mage and he's out. All right, well, it's easy when they don't fight back. All right, so let's see. Oh, there's another guy there. Are these just bots, by the way? I might just be shitting on bots right now. Not gonna lie. This guy isn't even playing. Maybe it's like one of those things where the bots don't like being peers and they just don't play the game. Oi, oi, oi. To be honest, PKing feels really nice. I've played pretty click-intensive games while I haven't played RuneScape. That was a nice skill. 
So it's not that I can't click anymore. I think I'll, I'll pick it back up super fast, honestly. Uh, volatile, ah, I'm gonna assume that's better. Uh, do I need to keep this? I don't know anything about Pure Picking. So I guess this is nice for maging, but I probably want Myth Gloves to switch into. Oi, 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 I'm clicking everything. Dude, it's like I never left. It's like I never left, let me tell you. Okay, watch this. Dying on okay. a hard cry, man. Completed. Conclusion? I'm shit at the game. But you know what? That's also kind of exciting at the same time. Uh, that guy was just better. He had a better gaming chair, better headset. It is what it is. Anyways, let's gear up for our first quest back. It appears that the first quest that released after I left the game was Sleeping Giants and that released on the 8th of June and the Sleeping Giants gives you an access to Giants Foundry. Great, you may be wondering, what is Giants Foundry? Once again, I've got absolutely no clue, but let's go ahead and get our items. It appears it is a very short quest and all I need is a couple of logs, a ball of wool and some nails. So let's go ahead and start this one out. All right, the quest guide is up, the items are obtained. So I need to go to Alcarid. Dude, I forgot about this place. Is this even active? All right, now I think I made it to the area and this is this is all very new to me. What is that? A little, little altar? Water source? This could be a cool free-to-play area, maybe. As always, we're just holding spacebar. I'm not gonna go too in-depth. All right, there we go. We've entered the big-ass cave. Is this like a smithing? I think this might be a way to train smithing. I don't know how efficient, how good this is, but maybe something worth looking into before Deadman mode if for some reason I need to train my smithing. Okay, it's standard. We need to just fix it around. Let's get it done. Fix this wheel. That is fixed. Next thing. Okay, and lastly, I guess trip hammer. Let's get this fixed. All right, let's figure it out. So we grab the crate. Okay, got a bunch of items. Fill the crucible. Okay, we just fill it up with like all the items that we have, I guess. Okay, we added a bunch of stuff into this. Oh man, what is this? Select forte that matches your commissions best. Medusa di caso disarming forte serpentrica. What am I supposed to click here? Hello? I guess this one? I don't know what I'm doing, this? I don't think that's right. Oh my... Hello? I have a giant ass hammer now. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna be honest here. There we go, that's done. So now we have to grind it. All right, there it is. You have completed the sleeping giants. We now have a quest point completed. Six million smithing XP and access to the giants foundry. So I don't think I'll be doing this one in Deadman mode. However, that is the first quest completed. Nice. The next quest on the list is going to be the Garden of Death. It appears that this quest came out on the 30th November 2022. It should be a nice farming quest it seems so we're starting this quest over here in kebos lowlands and uh, let me tell you man i'm so confused how do you even play this game but anyways we got a little book let's go ahead and begin it probably have to read it do a little bit of running climb into this hole let's figure out if this quest is nice if you're wondering why i'm doing all of this i'm really looking forward to doing desert treasure too uh, but i want to do all the quests leading up to it so i don't feel completely lost Ain't no way, bro. What is this quest? It just makes me <laughs> write fucking letters. Hello? Shout out to whoever is doing the quest helper, man. Because without this, I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, there it is. There it is, guys. I have no idea what I did. But I got 10,000 farming XP, though. Alright, it appears that we're entering the fun stuff that I have missed. The next quest on the list is Secrets of the North. This is a quest that was released on 11th January of 2023. And it is also a quest that I think unlocks a new boss, which is Phantom Maspa or something like that, I think. Oh, we're gonna give it a shot. I absolutely have no idea how to do this, but all I can tell is there's a lot of requirements for these quests. Alright, let's begin it. Speak to this guard right here, and the quest should be started. Secrets of the North. I have a couple of items that I need for this quest. And probably very overkill gear, but I do want to finish this quest, but I also want to try out this boss for a bit and, and, and see how it is. Why is there a dead guy in the room? Hello? What the fuck? Hey, yo! This guy's angry. Maybe Thibaut is not the best option for this. Well, why did I not even think? You're in iron, bro. There we go. Well, he didn't make it. Oh, I see, I see. I'm figuring it out. So one is good, three is good. Oh, is this gonna be like this? Okay. Oh, I'm figuring it out. I feel smart right now. Bang. Oh my goodness, I'm just so talented at this game. 
All right, there we go. That's the sarcasm, by the way. All right, that was nice. Okay, it appears that we're going into a fight and I got no idea what to expect. We got this. Quick prayers, bam, bam. What could possibly go wrong? So is, that where, is this where you fight the boss later as well? Probably. Hazil is here. All the homies are here. Kazard is here. Hey! The fuck? Okay, this guy's melee. Thought I was fighting a boss. Bro, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm just taking damage here. I really should have brought like a different weapon, the Debo, but there it is, surely sometime soon. He didn't make it. All right. Once again, no idea what to expect. Haven't done this boss, haven't seen anything about it. Uh, but I, I mean, I've heard about it. There it is. What? It's called Strange Creature. I guess later it's called Maspa. There it is. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, chill, bro. Okay, so it seems like this is melee, right? I mean, it's running at me, so I'm just gonna pray melee and run. That seems to be range. Is it range and magic? Well, praying range doesn't hit me, so I'm just gonna sit with it. Let's see if I can still one tick flick. Oh my god, I still got it. What is this? Hiding? Ooh! What are you doing, man? What bro cooking right now? What is my bro doing? Was I supposed to be dodging the little circles? Oh, I know this part. You have to smite it, right? Yes, yeah, so I have to be uh, behind the wall for that hit and then we're chilling. There it is. That's the. I guess that's the easy version because it's a quest version, right? That was a cool fight though. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope I'm gonna do a couple of kills of just standard to see how it feels. See what kind of loot it averages. Oh, and that's it. Okay, there it is. Secrets of the North completed. Sixty thousand agility, fifty thousand thieving, forty thousand hunter. I do want to attempt a couple of Maspa kills to to see what kind of loot we are we are talking about here. Okay, let's figure it out. First fight versus the Maspa. Seems to be range. Oh yeah, I should be running because it hits through prayer. Hey yo! The fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, I almost died! What's happening to my prayer even? Yo, wait, 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 wait. What? I got so scared by that. Oh shit, magic? No, I'm too late, maybe. Dude, what's happening? I'm not hitting anything, bro. So I don't know if this is normal, but yeah, I got uh, the whole screen was in little things. Uh, it seems like we got some gold or ancient essence and some smoke rune on our very first kill over here. 74 million dollars, we'll take it. I mean, the fight is kind of cool. I think the, the, the big hit that hits me is actually protectable, so I'm gonna do one more. I think I have enough uh, resources to do. Oh, Kurva, he's already back. There it is, another one. Okay. Getting the hang of it after just two kills. No problems, obviously my gear is a little bit illegal. But yo, this is a fun boss, man. Two usage there, a little bit of restores. Also you get like supplies so you could stay here longer. I could stay here for one more kill like easily with what I just got. And I will do just that. This is a fun boss, man, I'm enjoying it. Why am I enjoying RuneScape again? I don't understand what's happening to my prayer there, but there's a kill number three. Frozen Kash, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be honest with you. 3kc, let's open it. Two plate legs. That's a cool thing. So you get like a little box and I guess there's like a loot, different type of loot you can get from it. What a fun boss, man. Okay, dude, that, that just gets me excited for Desert Treasure 2 bosses as well, which are just around the corners. Okay, so there's one thing I want to see how much these things sell for. I don't know what they are used for. Okay, so these are like ni nice little addition. So three kills, 40k. So you get like almost guaranteed what, like 10k per kill or something like that. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna sell them just yet. I'll just start uh, stockpiling a little bit. Uh, but definitely need to change my inventory around. <laughs> okay, so I've been doing a little bit of research as to what gear and armor I should be looking into. And I came to a conclusion that we're gonna have to probably start selling this armadil and affording Mazori, which is basically just a straight up upgrade. And then when it comes to melee, I'm going to be needing Torva soon-ish. I don't have any type of money for that, but that is something to look forward to. And it is something that is pretty exciting to know that my gear now is pretty bad actually. So yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, nice. Getting pretty used to this. What did I just get? Charged ice. And I got like a Phantom Maspa speed trialist. That's kind of cool. What is a charged ice? Alternate forms. What? Is this rare? I don't know what this is. Okay, and that's kill number five, which is where I'm gonna chill for a little bit. The boss is fun. I, I also completely forgot that I probably could be using thralls. Dude, I just forgot so many things about this game. It's actually insane. 
I kid you not when I say this, I wrote Infernal and I saw zero. And my heart went to the floor and then I dragged down and I found it, so we're good. I'm gearing up right now to do some TOA, which I haven't done yet. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing it with Robert, so we're gonna be testing that out and see how it goes. Guys, I need donations, I'm struggling, like... No way you try and be cheap and put in, like... Dude, look, it said here man. to buy for 1 to 5. I put 1 to 6, I was being Just rich. buy for mid or 5% over. Aha, see? I'm smart. Before we start... Yeah? Do you want to chuck on the nice TOA plugin that's going to do all the puzzles for you? Yes. Where is it? Talk to me. It's called Tombs of a Mascot. <laughs> no way. Okay, Tombs. How do you spell that? Tombs? T-O-M-B-S. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzle solver. Okay, install it. There we go. All right, I'm ready. We send it. This is going to be either really scuffed or really scuffed. Robert, just go easy on the first one, please. Just nice and easy. I have no hands. Are we splitting or what? Like if we get a shadow? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. We ain't getting no shadow. You're dying 10 times. I'm not dying. What is the 3173? Did you kill it three times and die 173 or what? Uh, that's entry mode. Um, ah, like kill count. standard okay. and then expert. I thought that was your KDA, but it would look. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. This is just the annoying puzzle room. See monkey, kill monkey. And we've also got potions and a hammer you want to take. Basically, one of us is going to have some random site and you have to call out whether to fix a pillar or to <laughs> use a potion on a vent or use a potion on each other. I think you're a great coach. I have no idea what's going on, but... Uh, I'll just and then just attack, attack monkeys with the combat style that they're weak to. Uh-huh, what are they weak to? Mages, weak <laughs> to range. Oh. Melly's weak to mage. Okay, I'll just, I'll just follow shit. you and we'll see what happens. Professional, okay? But you want to fix a pillar now? Where is the pillar, bro? Oh, this. Okay. Or am I supposed yeah, to do the other one? A different one to me. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, listen, <laughs> I'm just following you around. My bad. I didn't know there was a pillar. Like... <laughs> Dick, can you stop laughing? But I'm struggling. Dude, I'm out of supplies, bro. <laughs> oh, all I'm saying, it's a good thing we didn't put a time limit on the raid. Is that the room done? Oh my god, I'm brewing. Nice, we didn't die. <laughs> Holy shit, we're so good. I think I should have brought in 10 of me if you knew you are going to be like this. <laughs> Dude, it's going to be fine, okay? What am I it's, doing here? I don't know. It's low level. You melee on and stab it. Okay. So, am I supposed to move? So, or? it's going to chuck a rock. Now you run to one of the rocks opposite to me. Okay, this or you one run or... there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a rock, man. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a rock. You know, you know the big, massive boulder in the middle of the room. That's the next I didn't yeah, that's see a rock. it, man. I didn't see it. My bad. Yeah. I thought that this was okay. Well, stay with that rock there. Did I see it now? It's like pretty big, you know. <laughs> oh shit! But how? Oh, like a drag, you rat! You dragged me out. Oh fuck! No way, man. Nah, no, that's toxic. That's fucked up. The way you did that. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Wait, there's a What the <laughs> Fuck you! Why are you laughing? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and I hate you! I should have never said yes to this. You're gonna you're gonna snap this. And yeah, basically Am I move off your attack. No, you don't need to pray at the moment. Okay. Wait, we did it. Okay. Nice. Also, oh, I, I forgot need... to tell you to bring a pickaxe. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's important <coughs> no, information? No way you're picking up a super combat off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you <down that. laughs> I have 200k to my name, but What the fuck is that? Oh, don't do two, two tiles at once or you're gonna be fucked. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? I don't know, man. What's going on? Be melee when you can. So by dodging, you mean run directly into it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm high on the DPS, let me tell you, like, I don't care if I take damage. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Stand to it. Okay, okay, okay. I misclicked everything. Nah. The fuck was that? Is this, like, how many of these small bosses are there even? Four. Am I... I don't know if I should eat here or not. No, you don't need to. Nice. Uh... Basically, you're gonna dodge the stuff that's coming and pray correctly. 
Mm -hmm. What's the correct playing even? So you like red attacks for mage yeah. and... Oh. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Hello! Yellow king! <laughs> fuck off! And now pray melee. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> no, dude! Dude! Nah, that's some bullshit, man. Do you, do you want me to suicide and we go again? I don't know, do you? Dude, let me tell you, I have all the time in the world. You go ahead and uh, do that. You can you make yourself a coffee, it's gonna take a little while. <laughs> there is no way, man. Oh, I'm, I'm, you're telling me I'm doing all this waiting to get poop? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Wait, you didn't die in other rooms, did you? I, I mean, I, I did die on the fucking crocodile. I, I don't think you'll get poop. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> there you go. We've done the raid. Congratulations. No, that's a lie. That's more no. Alright, we're done. Can I play now or? Yeah, you can play now. Oh my, I can't play the game. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna play, man. Oh, I've got it on slow as well, so it's... I think you're doing great. Keep it going. Okay, how about I take 25%? Is that respectable? I mean, 25% of nothing is still nothing. I have no but idea yeah, how you, you should, it. You should try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, when you said that you could die, so I would try it again. I didn't think that that's the whole raid, right? I thought that it was just that part. <laughs> like a mini boss. Oh my god, dude, what a performance. Oh, you've completed a raid. Nice. What man. a performance, Robert. What a performance. Okay, so I'm looking here and it's saying personal points for me is 95%. <laughs> Let me show you something. I ended up getting Novice Tomb Explorer, moving on up, Confident Trader, by the way. No. <laughs> we got a purple. We Wait, got actually, a purple. We actually got a purple. There's no way. And it's yours. Wait, I got a purple and I died the whole raid. There is no shot. <laughs> Wait, you're trolling, I didn't get it. It's fine, it's not purple, you're painting. Ah, uh, my bad, I'm colorblind. Nah, but you got me all excited, man. <laughs> you upgrade your room. Okay, but it. can I just open any chest or what's going on right you now? You didn't do enough damage to get a chest. No, 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 you're trolling, I'm clicking so this one. So you didn't one. get one? No. Nah, but you're actually trolling, this one. No, you, you just don't get a loot. What do you mean I don't get a loot? Hello? Well, you, you have to do a certain amount of damage. You have to do at least 5,000 damage in a raid <laughs> no, to get no, a loot. No, 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 this guy's trolling. There it is. 55,000 coins. I appreciate your help. Thanks for the carry. I'm sorry it took like twice the time. Um, that's that's alright. It was a fun raid. <laughs> I feel like a little bit of sarcasm in that, but uh, I appreciate yeah, your no, time anyway. Great, great experience. I enjoyed every second of it. I'm it sure. worth the loot, yeah. yeah. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> I'm sure we'll do it again at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. I think I'm busy on those days. <laughs> well, anyways, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. He just left. He just left. Today is the 22nd of August and after yesterday's very questionable TOA attempts, I think I'm finally ready to go ahead and uh, experience the Desert Treasure 2, The Fallen Empire. However, in order for me to start this Grandmaster very long quest, I still need to do his Faithful Servant, which I have absolutely no idea what that is. But it has to be done. In order to start this quest, I just need to speak to this Barrows guy and, and it seems like this is just a Barrows minigame. There we go, that's the Darug buddy dead. Arim didn't make it. That's Karil dead. That's Gotham dead. Torak didn't make it. And lastly, we got Varax. There we go, that's Varax done. And I guess that's gonna be the mini quest, so let's just go ahead and loot the chest. No way we... Oh, okay. I thought this was actually an item. So now we get a strange icon, which I guess is what we needed. And I probably just need to return to the dude. It is a map of the battle script, you carefully study it and memorize all the details, you then discard it. So I believe the rewards for doing this is to have minimap in barrows. And we get 20,000 prayer experience. Let's take a look and yeah, this is pretty beautiful. So now you can see that there is a nice little map inside barrows. Okay, and just because why not, uh, let's go ahead and see if we get something good from the barrow chest. Uh, we don't. Okay, now that this is done, I believe I can start getting fully ready for Desert Treasure 2. So this quest apparently takes extremely long time, but I have everything that I need. So we're gonna fire up the quest helper, hopefully it's already out, and see what this quest is all about. There will not be a helper for this quest for a month. Good luck and have fun with the quest. It appears we are screwed. I'm gonna see if there is any guides over on the YouTube, and if not, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. 
Alright, it appears that the quest guide of my choice is uh, three hours long, so yeah, uh, it's gonna take me a, a while, I guess. Uh, but let's take a look, first time entering the temple, let's just call it the temple, there it is, this is where we started off. Okay, we got our first fight of the desert treasure too, it's a little rock. Alright, we're going, that's it. It looks like we have to do our very first boss right now, which is, will be this weird ass looking, I don't even know. But yeah, the whole idea is we'll have to... Oh my god, look at it. He's so ugly. Oh my. Uh, but I'll probably be killing some of these bosses after the quest as well. But I guess I have to kill one of every boss for the actual quest. So let's go ahead and figure it out. You can't make this up. I don't have a pickaxe, bro. Never mind. Found the pickaxe. We're good. Did I do it? We did it. There we go. One kill count of the succulus. And we need to pick up the key. There we go. Putting this uh, medallion into the first statue. That's one out of four completed. Three more to go. Okay, there we go. I think this part of the quest is done. Okay, so I think I should get caught here. Bro, they come in like crazy. Look at that speed. Okay, so this guy should catch me again. Okay, so we've done a very annoying part, and now I just need to get ready to fight Vardorvis, which is going to be the second out of the four bosses we have to do. Yo, that's sick. I like this attack. Oh, fuck, there goes my prayer again. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing this boss, let me tell you. I don't like it. Uh, but anyways, there you go, Vardorvis, uh, second one done. Some javelin hands, we grab some uh, some temple key. I don't like I don't like him at all, bro. I don't know man. Alright, here we go. Medallion of Vardorvis is obtained. Let's go to Narda, put it in, and then we have two more to go. The Leviathan, let's take a look. What do we do? So is this like as I get hit? I think so. Okay. That's pretty chill. I know this goes much harder, especially in the awakened version. Oh, there's melee. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, that's a nice boss. Oh, I really enjoyed this boss. That is so cool. Yo, this is chill. I like it. I think I swapped a bit too fast because I'm used to Zolder, huh? Oh, I like it. That is so nice. Oh, that's really cool. Oi, oi. It's so good! I love him! Oh, I might be killing this boss a bit more. But I think he should be doing more different attacks. Oh, maybe a bit of moving. Oh, dude! I love this boss! I've never casted a shadow spell. I don't know what's the deal with that. Or when I'm supposed to do it. Oh, do I need to stay with this to deal more damage? This might be the play, you know? This might be the vibe right now. You even have different sound cues. This is such a cool boss. I know the vacant version is like super cool, but this version, I absolutely adore. There it is, we got our third medallion. There it is, three out of four. Let's do one more. All right, it is time to improvise the Whisperer as well. I kind of have an idea of what it does, so I guess it's gonna be okay. Can I just hit it with this? Okay. That's range, range, range. Oh, and then I need to move. Okay, okay so, so far it's pretty chill and I'm hitting hard, so... Uh, I think I need to go in here and step on these. There we go. Oh, it's kind of chill. I like it. I don't know if I was too slow or not. Oh, I should probably freeze it. I have a feeling that I need to do this again. And go behind low HP like this. Bam. Now I go behind this one. Uh, is that it? Oh, this one, this one. Oh, fuck. I think I fucked up. Not gonna lie. Oh. Hello, can I move or what? What are we talking? Oh yeah, this, and then I need to hit Vita and Vita, and I think that's it. 
Yo, this boss is nice. I like it. Dude, I might do this boss more. Not gonna lie. Bam, 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 move. Oh, it's so cool, man. I love it. And then I think I just need to move and kind of see what I get hit by. That's range, for example. That's range. Now apparently it's gonna be twice magic. Now apparently it's gonna be twice range. And now apparently it's gonna be twice magic. Yeah, so super chill boss. I know I didn't do the best of the job there because of the sanity or whatever. But there it is, the first KC. We got a little bit of coal. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to complete the quest. Right, let's take a look. So I don't know, I just geared like kind of weirdly, but I'm sure it's fine. And we got our Whisperer's uh, token back. Beautiful, nice. Okay, so I think that completes the quest, hopefully. Okay, so apparently there's four more bosses. So let me cook this one up real quick. Okay, there we go. We're going in. We are ready. We are unleashed. Four bosses are between us and finishing the quest, and I'm pretty damn excited. I believe the, if you're into lore, this is like a really cool part of the quest as well. So I always just skip through quest dialogue in, in quests, but I'm actually sit here reading this because I'm interested. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so the first one should be the assassin, dude. And you need to bait this guy to this. There we go, there's a second dude down. I mean, the first dude down. Can I just pump the damage in? Probably, right? There we go, so that guy's dead. So here these leeches are apparently pretty annoying, so... So we'll just run and shoot. There it is. I think that's gonna be it. That was pretty easy, obviously, with my gear it's a little bit illegal. I think with the worst gear it would be much harder. I got a bit trolled in the middle, but I do think that's gonna be it. I'll see you in the north. Alright, let's take a look. So this guy is just disappearing. So I have a feeling they will always end it on a cliffhanger, right? I think they always end these big quests on a cliffhanger. So there's definitely room for more quests to come, right? There it is. You have now completed Desert Treasure 2, The Fallen Empire. We get a little bit of quest points, a ring of shadows, uh, three ancient lamps and ability to use the ancient rings and access to four new bosses. There we go. Wait, this makes me think, right? If you were to finish this quest on Deadman mode with accelerated XP rates, are you telling me you could get, you could get like something crazy XP wise? Probably do a couple more of the bosses to see how they feel, how they play. And uh, yeah, let's look into it. I think I'm doing pretty shit, but... Okay, I got one kill count. I think I'm gonna start off doing one KC and then... Mm, I got a few potions. I guess I could stay one more. Okay, I'm getting the I'm getting the hang of this pretty fast. And I've only done, what, like three kills? Got a little bit of coal as well. I can't do one more, but... I feel like I could easily do a lot of kills of this boss. I enjoyed it a lot. Why was this so fast? Um, What am I missing here? Oh, I didn't freeze it. Uh, how do I get my shit back? For learning a boss paying, what, like 2 point something million to get my items back seems a bit excessive. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm struggling over here in the armor department. Do I need to like actually reclaim everything at the boss? There is no chests here. Okay, I have to get it back from the death, I think. Okay, so it appears, by the way, I'm speaking a bit late because it's late, uh, but it appears that... I need to literally do this and collect it like this. But this is so expensive, no? Okay, well, uh, I have to be much more careful then. So we're in a bit of a pickle. I can't afford to even die with this type of money. So I'm going to go sleep and in the morning I'll try to sell a bunch of stuff. Yesterday I was a bit of an idiot. And apparently there is a chest outside of the whatever it is that we were doing yesterday. The snake boss looking thing. And uh, I just didn't see it. I was blind. I'm gonna sell a couple of stuff in my bank just to have a little bit of a cash stack ready. Mainly because Deadman Mode's in two days. I wanna have a couple of bonds on hand. I sold a bunch of random junk items that I'm never gonna use. And I just wanna see if maybe I can afford one of the Mazori things. There it is. We now have uh, Mazori. And it looks so cool. I love the way this looks. So yeah, let's go get uh, a little bit of Leviathan kill count. All right, so apparently if you die, the gravestone spawns right here next to scoreboard. So I have no idea how I missed it last time, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, try another kill here. Okay, this boss is... Uh, oof, 
it started off well and now it's just uh, it's a bit of a rough one not gonna lie so let's do like one more okay a couple of rune arrows 5kc i'm gonna do 5kc of every boss just to get a little bit more familiar with all the bosses uh, but the boss i want to actually do is succulus because if i were to get a teleport tablet from him i have a very good teleport to maspa and very good teleport to the boss itself i think i just need the max milligear basically and uh, we'll see if we get lucky there ah there we go okay i can get used to this some rune javelin heads, not bad. I'm gonna try to squeeze in one more. Okay, not bad. Two kill trip. Some mist runes. Oi, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, that is a lot of damage. Holy. Okay, well, despite that huge hit. Oh, first drop. Awakener's Orb. Nice. Okay, now this is a drop that I actually know what it does. If you have this, you can start a really hard version of a boss, basically. Uh, we're gonna see the price of these at the moment. Oh, they went back down in price. Okay, so these were about 4 million, but now they're back to 2. We still take it. That's pretty good. Some sea turtles for kill count number 7. 200. That's actually a lot. Uh, some dragon javelin heads. 52k. And that should be KC number 9. I have to bank right now, but I'm starting to reach a point where I'm basically using pretty low amount of food, I guess. Nice little 4 kill trip. I think I'm gonna change a boss right now. Maybe try a little bit of the mage one as well. But so far, this one has to be my favorite. It's also probably one of the most relaxing ones. Next boss on the list that I want to get familiar with is Vardorvis. Obviously, we've killed it once. I'm using just... Fang and, and Bandos for now. This is like the best gear I got really and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes Don't die on me, buddy. Oh My goodness everything's happening at once Okay, these axes hurt holy Okay uh, it's not as hard as I thought it would be obviously uh, some uh, some javelins for a drop I don't think I can do a two kill trip just yet So we're gonna play it safe one kill trips for now get familiar with it then try two kill trips and so on Oh my goodness everything's happening at once Oh That was a hard one. I kind of got just all the axes spawning on top of me. Okay, that kill was smooth not gonna lie, that kill was smooth. I have a lot of supplies left, I can probably do one more. Okay, two kill trip, nice. More coal, okay. I like this boss, I like it. I know that there's like a corner way where you can like step out, step in. I would love to learn it, maybe I should. Uh, because I think I would do a lot better. Oh, I think I kinda did it there. I should have teleported. Oh my god, I did it, okay. Yeah, let's not talk about it, like, oh my god, that was bad. I didn't even have Infernal Cape on. Oh my. It's fine. It's okay. We got it. 6kc. Onyx Bolts. 520k. Nice. First uh, good drop from Vardorvis. Do I try to squeeze one more in? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna attempt it. If I don't do any huge mistakes, it's probably possible. Oh, that was smooth. That was nice. Two kill trip again, some dragon javelin heads. Nice, okay, two kills are doable. Oh, for more 520k, nice. There we go, more onyx bolts, we love to see it. Can I sneak in one more? I will try. And there it is, dragon dart tips, 100k drop, pretty good loot, and that's kill count number 10. And if I had to rate the bosses, like from favorite to least favorite so far, I would say this one's actually my favorite, then Duke, and then Leviathan. Even though on my very first KC, I would say Leviathan was my favorite. Uh, so now I'm also gonna do about, I don't know, 5 to 10 kills of the mage, and then I can really raid the bosses in my personal preference. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going insane. Okay, I need to get out. I was a bit slow on that one. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. I maybe forgot a little bit of what I'm supposed to do. Uh, we go again. Jesus. All right, I was a bit rough. No way I got it straight away. No way I got it straight away. Ceramic tablet. Oh, I'm so lucky. I do believe uh, you can put this on a ring. It is basically a teleport to this place, which is super lucky to get it this early. All right, if we claim our ring of shadows and we move Serenic Tablet onto the ring, we can now teleport with it. Oh, and we're right here, right next to teleporter. That is really good. Oh, I love this boss, man. Oh my God, it's so fun. Oh, I'm trolling. 
Ooh, I choked in the end there. I don't know why. Focus lost a little bit. Uh, but we get some uncut diamonds in this one. Nice. What? I I misclicked. I misclicked the teleport. It was one HP. <laughs> All right, let's try to use less than three minutes to conclude our thoughts about Desert Treasure 2 and the bosses. Now, first of all, let's have a little tier list, okay? My favorite boss to kill, I think, was Vardorvis. My second favorite was the Duke, the little ugly guy. My third favorite was, I guess, Whisperer. Whisperer and Duke are, are there in the middle. And Leviathan is also really fun. But I guess out of the other three, I think Leviathan is the lowest for me at the moment. But I still like it. So if all of them were S+, the Leviathan would be S. Like, I really like these bosses. Uh, they're designed really well. And how will they impact Deadman mode? Now, there is a few items that I am not very familiar with when it comes to the last two years of the game. I think the biggest item with the biggest impact for Deadman mode is actually just going to be the Light Bearer, the ring that increases your special attack. I think that in itself is going to be so broken if you combine them with the Relics, with the 25% VLS special attack, I think the ring is the most feared thing for Deadman mode. The next thing, there is this axe as well. It is called a Soul Reaper axe. I don't fully understand how it works yet, uh, but I do believe that this could be kind of interesting to look into. And then there's also rings that are new, but all of that is like super new for the game, so I can't really tell how that will impact uh, Deadman mode. Uh, but if we look into the Maspa, there's Venator Bow from there, and I don't really see Venator Bow being used that much because it's probably quite hard to get, uh, unless you can get it as a drop from Port that are going to be spawning around uh, Deadman mode. So lots to look forward to, but I generally think I still got the game. Obviously, right now it is 23rd of August. I'm going to use the entirety of the 24th of August to practice my PKing skills, make sure I'm sharp for the Deadman mode. And this is going to be it, I think, for this video. I absolutely enjoyed those last two days coming back to RuneScape. It's only been two days, by the way. And, dude, I'm having fun. And I'm looking forward to Deadman mode. I'm looking forward to grind it out. And hopefully I can get some of you guys to join me on the journey to enjoying RuneScape again. As always, it has been a pleasure to having you on board for this video. And I'll see you very soon on the 25th of August with a brand new Deadman mode video. Have a good one and bye-bye. See ya.